Ah, oh, hi, good morning, Mr. Ritchie. Please have a seat. My boss is with you. How are you? Fine. Ah, I see that's um that's a new painting, right? Yes, sir. Ah, uh, this this looks good. You know, every time I need it, I'm constantly asking my just what well, let ah. me, yeah. <laughs> let me complete your painting. With me. Ah. Please, Mr. Richard, stop this. I'm trying Please. so hard. I'm trying so hard to stop, but you would have to help me. Wow. You would have to help me, beautiful. That's all I ask, just one bite of the cherry, just once. All right? Just one bite of the cherry, and you and I will be cool as ice. I still to, I don't fornicate. And even if I foolishly choose to, married men will never be featured in my page. <laughs> well, that's not a problem. Why don't you consider me unmarried here, and so we can get it out? Hmm? Because I'll show you one thing. That when I am done with you, you will testify that I am the best. You're a creep! The best that you have ever had. You're a creep. My one boss day. will see you soon. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> uh. Beautiful woman. Okay. Good morning, sir. Yeah, good morning. How are you? My 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 car. So I parked it right here, right? Uh, sir, maybe your wife pick it up. She's inside. I, I parked this car right here. I am dead sure, very sure that I, I, I parked right here. Oh no, my car possibly can't be missing now, can it? Huh? No, I, 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 I came in yesterday. Yes, I, I came in yesterday. I drove it. I, I, I parked it right here. And then I, and then I went upstairs. Um, um, sir, I'm so sorry. But if it's what I'm thinking, sir, sir, remember I repeatedly pleaded with you to insure that car. See, sir, this is when insurance comes in and um, young man, what's your what's your name again? It's me, sir, Harry. Harry, for your own good, I suggest you keep a healthy distance from me right now, for your own good. Do you hear me? Sir, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hey, sir, it's, it's just that I wanted you to give me... Will you get out of this place? I'm sorry. Out! Stop. I passed the skull right here. Oh no, you witch! Rich boy, rich, rich boy. Grandpa, how are you, Grandpa? Come on, how many times have I told you? Don't call me by that name, you boy. Oh, just like I've told you to stop calling me, boy. You never listen, but it's okay. That's you. <laughs> Richie. How's it going? How's the family? Fine, 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 fine. And yours? Oh, well. What can I say? Wow. You look so happy today. So. Do I? You look happy. <laughs> oh boy. Some idiots just picked up my car today. Wow. Oh, so sorry about that. Well, you consider that as a token to the less privilege. It's okay. <laughs> to the less privilege. Do you know how much that car cost me? Richie, Richie. 
Let's don't let that distract you, please. Focus. Hmm? Um, by the way, when are you traveling to Europe? I leave for Europe tonight. I travel tonight. I mean, I have a car to replace as it is, and I have money to make. <laughs> wow, Rachel, Rachel boy. That's one thing I like about you, though. You don't pussy food. <laughs> oh, you know what to say. Uh, time is money, now. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, sure. Time now, money. You know, I was gonna ask you, uh, yeah. What's the deal with you and the very sumptuous secretary, Mary Rose? That's what I'm talking about. What's up with me and Mary Rose? Work. That's all. It's just that. Yeah, just work. You're trying to tell me that you two don't have some woochy woochy understanding behind the carpets. Richie, you quite well know that Mary Rose is my personal assistant. And for a long while, I've not had a very good personal assistant like she is. She takes care of my office, she cleans the table, she answers my call, replies my email. Grandpa, please. Stop with the dribbling, all right? I just asked you a simple question. Do you have some kind of under the carpet arrangement with this girl? No, 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 no. I'm only trying to explain to you mm. that I'll be the greatest fool to fool around with such a prized asset as Mary Rose. Mm. I can't let all what she brings to the table go off the wind like that. <laughs> so if I'm to take your word to the bank, it means that uh, the coast is clear for people like me. Richie, <laughs> if I do get a wink that you are trying to mess up with that girl, you won't like what I'm going to do to you. <laughs> Trust me for that. Relax, boy. I'm not joking. Relax, relax. You know what I find interesting about you? You take life too seriously. <laughs> sure, I do. <laughs> I do. That's by the side. So what's, okay. what's on board? What are we working on this time? Well, I Hello. Isn't that why you have a secretary out there? Thank you. How are you? Well, I'm fine. As you can see. Or oh, you still want me to answer that in words? <laughs> it's just something else. Please sit. Okay, thank you. <laughs> So, what brings marketer extraordinary to my humble office today? Actually, I was in the hood and I said to myself, and what you mean by in the hood is that you came to see our kind downstairs. <laughs> you are giving me enough reasons to suspect that you know so much about my business, lawyer Ubi. Well, I just say I'm the only one who knows about it. Because by the time our eight to four people got to find out about your thingy on the side. <laughs> that was one reason why we are friends. And together, we will make sure we smother them with as much love as they prepare to stand my way. <laughs> You're just the worst. Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. As our client infoed you about their Swank Riverview estate, which is snapping up like crazy right now? No, he did not. And frankly, I don't give a rat rump. Hmm. I just wish I could move into that place. Wow. Why? It's not like uh, it's heaven and earth. Darling, you need to be there to figure that out. Trust me. Mm -hmm. It's a nice place to be, huh? It is cool. It is classy. It is serene. It has all the trappings that when you tell someone you're resident there, your rep just heads for planet Mars, just like that. Mm -hmm. But... 
But what? I can't afford it. What's the going price like? Just 80 million naira. But there's a mortgage plan, which I'm 100% sure about. My firm actually drew up the policy. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> well, if you like the place that much, why don't we pull resources? How come I didn't think about it? Because your mind just got here, silly girl. Bobby, look, address me properly. I'm not your no, gaft. Ah, I'm chief of court. Why do you Why you did this? Oh, like I can't learn Oh, 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 Welcome. I am ASP Jolomi. Who don't know you for this estate? Guess what? I know you well. You know your bad luck. And by the way, if what Moa is thinking is what you are thinking, but this is never a thing. Criminality, no they are family. So, Ugo, let me clear. If you know you no get liver, you know. Let me clear. You know you no get liver. No get liver. So, who said anything about criminality? No, 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 no because the way they look, sometimes uh, I don't understand your eye. You know, in that case... Wait, wait. Uh, uh, I'm not beating up anything. Uh, this is over, I swear. I think they're more wild. That's my bad. I think they're more wild. I think they're more wild. I just wanted to ask if by chance you saw Mr. Katun's brand new gym driven away this morning. You know, me with Okay. His life is that way has been vamoose. I knew it. When I woke up, I saw this guy. I see blue one guy. I knew something was gonna happen in the estate. And this morning, I did not wake up this morning. I wake up around 11 and I read this place by 12. So since then I'm walking here. I don't see any jeep at all. I'm not here for the jeep now. Um what's your name by the way? You mean Mwah? Oluwa Bobby. I mean Bobby Smart. Okay, let's go on. I'm a Samsung guy. Oh, I don't believe you, Bobby. Sentence, look on it. You didn't see anything. Mwah. Nothing. How would you? With those circumstances, what do you have behind you? Ah, my handphone. In your pockets. Huh? And you? What are you standing on? Gas. Gas. Where is your leg? My leg? The other one, sir. This one? You want me to go to the other one? Yeah, no. I just should be. I'm not be a metal. Who you be saying? Go on, smart. We have to. I will deal with that just now. Mm. Hey, come, come. Don't let forget about uh, the money discussion. She has begun already. Idiot. So what's the down payment like? Mm, Twenty-five percent. And what's that in figure? You know, I was never good at mathematics. Oludo. Twenty-five percent of eighty million naira is twenty million naira, and the balance spread across twenty years. But if we decide to pay the balance earlier, like let's say in 10 years, then we'll get a hefty discount. I'm beginning to like the idea. Besides, 20 million is not that much. I can put on 5M. Mm -hmm. Now, wow. So this is your commission and bonuses, left, right, and center, does actually add up in the bank, eh? Mm -hmm. Now you know, eh? Ah, uh -huh. mm -hmm. whatever. Uh, my cousin and I, 
will actually pick up the balance then. It's okay by me. When you need my share, you know where to come to. Hmm? Hmm? Yeah. All heal the hustle, babe. <laughs> hey, I'm sorry. Thinking. Market. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Uh -huh. Let's talk business, Joe. Um, who among your many clients needs escalator? <laughs> and the hustle continues. <laughs> Be serious, Joe, please. I have a full warehouse to offload. And you get a handsome commission for each unit sold. Before, Uncle. <laughs> Look at your face. Look. <laughs> and you call me a hustler, eh? Look at your face. <laughs> okay, so. Ross, Ross, Ross. No, no, market insurance again today. Ross, no, no, insurance again today. Does one dig for cricket with his toes when he has an elephant on his shoulders? <laughs> I don't know that one. Did he just say that? I don't know insurance with yours. Yeah, how far now? How, how far with Majid? Majid. As we speak, the car is completely wrecked, knocked down. Even the spare part dealers are on their way. Mm, bros. That's very cool. I like that. Mm. That Jolomi officer. I hear she's asking questions. Jolomi now. Estate security. ASP. Really? Mm. I don't know anything about Richard's car. Oh, do you? Time no day! Jolomiko. Ojorogi. Okay, I'll talk to you later. I'm driving. Okay, bye-bye. Uh. Babe, you are gaining weight. You need to watch what you eat. Oh. Oh, okay, okay. I'm sorry, mommy. I will do my best. I will try and watch it, okay? But seriously, I have heard that before. You need to take oh. care of your health. Look, life does not begin and end behind that place called work. Marius, now you're beginning to sound like my mom. Seriously, you are. <laughs> sure. Oh, that reminds me. You know, I got a call from my cousin, Claudia. Okay. Yes. Um, do you have a two millionaire to contribute so to be a co-owner of a prime property? Yes. Cool. That settles it then. I'll let her know. There's somewhere we all want to get to. Okay. According to her, she said it's cool. Okay. Tell her that I'm interested. Okay. But you have to give me all the details while we're having drinks. No problem. Orange juice for you all. Uh-uh. Only nah. orange juice. No! Ah, you want to get more? How are you? Hey, don't worry. Sabina, I may promise you. Ah, I'll give you the money today. Don't worry. Now, today I'll give you the money. Sincerely, I promise. Okay, okay. okay. All right. <laughs> okay. Take care. <laughs> oh, Mali. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Ah! Sanhi! Sanhi! The real estate service provider. Sanhi! Uh -uh. Why are you fine now? Eh? Eh? You and I know where are you coming from now. Ah. I know you saw Madame Victoria today. So, how much is this to us? Eh? For all change? Hey, give me my house here. Ah. Sanhi! Sanhi! Ah. Sanhi! Sanhi! Sai, you, hey, come, look, you can't hit me, oh. If you think you can't hit me in a night, I will deal with you, oh. How can you just come to my territory here, collect that money and leave the place? You will see.
Bros, did you see those? I, I saw them. <laughs> my brother, I saw them. Those cheeks are hot. You know you're my guy. Yeah. You know you're my guy. Yeah. I want you to find out everything about them. What if Mrs. Felicity finds out? Oh, God, God, God. What's wrong with you now? What has Felicity got to do with this? Now? I'm scared, though. Are you going to tell her? No, no. no. Then why are you bothered about Felicity? Guy, let me explain this thing to you. See this thing, eh? My draft. They have been a draft with this. Felicity. Get a part where they play. Soonest, these chicks we're talking about would have their own part to play. Look, this is what I want us to achieve. I want us to be the first people in this estate to get close to them. So I want them to feel welcome and comfortable in this estate. Yes, supported. Fine. So make sure you find out everything about them and okay. get back to me. Go, go, go. 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 Uh, by, the, by the way, did you see that idiot? That idiot I was begging to buy a policy from me. You mean Mr. Fregene? God will punish him. That Mr. Fregene, God will punish Mr. Fregene. Amen. So this is what we're going to do about this case. Mm -hmm. You see, mm. I want you to make some valuable parts of its car disappear. Why now, bros? Why? I'm confused. Why me? When you can actually make the whole entire car. Move. Why picking some part of the car? The whole car, by your grace, can move. Ah, Bobby, why you sound like this now? Ah. Why are you always sounding like a Juma? Are you not my guy again? Don't you, don't you trust me? Yes, I do. See, fine. If I want to move the whole car, I can. Mami Biari now. You don't understand? But I have my reason for telling you to do what I want you to do. Just make sure that some valuable parts of this car disappear. Do you know why? I want him to feel the pain I felt when he stood me up for hours without buying my policy. Yes. The guy's an idiot. I want him to cry. And he must cry. You know what, bro? I'm on it. Guy, guy, quickly. Are you not hungry? Cook food, eh? Are you hungry? I am. I won't cook food now. No, 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 I beg. Uh, I don't know. One thing I don't like about Felicity. I mean, telling us just wait for her and she's not where to be found. You know she's fond of it now, so <laughs> you better not stop. Hi. Hi. Good afternoon. Hi. Good afternoon. Um, oh, it's you. Hi, my name is Mary Rose E.T. My friends and I just moved next door, plot 1312. What can we do for you? Um, I was wondering if I can attend another church you guys go to. <laughs> this is quite interesting. What does it matter to you what church we attend? Um, I thought it would be a blessing to attend the same church as you gorgeous ladies. Hmm. 
If you're sorry, but sorry if it's a bother. Eh? No, 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 no. It's not a bother, okay? You can, you guys can come in here anytime you want. And of course, feel free to tag along with us to church on Sunday. Really? Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Miss. Mrs. Uh, I'm Matilda, okay. right? She is Victoria. And the owner of the property is Felicity. You just missed her. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and um, we would um, tell her about them. You, you people, you girls. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much, Matilda. Yeah. And um, Auntie, I mean, Sister Victoria, thank you. <laughs> be, be calm, all right? Keep calm. Come on, Sister Victoria, I'm keep calm. Come. Get my hands on top. Date of life tonight. Which one do you think will be most appropriate? Date of life. Yeah, date of life. And I promise I will teach you all about it when I get home, okay? Simply date of life. Hmm. So is it with anyone that we know? Are you going to help me make a choice or you want to sit there and play an interview all evening? Okay, um, the one on the left hand. Yeah, really? <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. But if you ask me, Sha, I think the one on the right hand was better. Oh, are you going to help me out or what? <sighs> okay. I see, John, before you say anything, I had a very active day. Don't worsen it. Okay? So what's up? Well, the team leader asked after you. Um, what was your response? I told her you were out there working on something very huge. Good. And what was her own response? Well, she hoped for your sake. You pull it off, or we'll be laid off. Okay. John, thanks so much. I appreciate it. You're welcome, bro. It's a bad idea sleeping around with married women when we have a lot of job to do. You're, you're a stupid man. If only this Richard Katong guy could just die now. Eh? eh? My container will come ashore, then I'll leave this stupid job of a thing. How I wish one of these evenings she will just go and never come back. Why don't you pray hard? Anyway, where is the brain between your legs leading you tonight? It is leading me out to go have fun with friends. After which, it will lead me to a clubhouse where I intend to have fun. And just maybe it might lead me out of the country. Destination, Europe. Suggestion. Kill yourself. Europe. Oh, Europa. Come here. Hey, hey, Richard. 
You are a very stupid man. Whoa. <laughs> Looking like an honest to God company executive. When you're nothing but a died in the wool froster. Listen to me. Look at the ceiling. Look at it. Every time you look at it, let it eat your heart away. No, in fact, my fraudulent ways must you put it because this roof over your worthless head. My darling, I can afford twice of this, and you know it. Oh, yes, I know that you can afford it, and then what's keeping you? Hmm? No, go right ahead and I thought what is stopping you? Huh? Oh, <laughs> I remember the banks that you defrauded are all lying in wait, waiting for your cursed name to pop up on any transaction and they're going to follow through with the paperwork and then pick your miserable ass up and you know where you end up? In jail. Do you know what, Richard? What? I hate you so much. Yet I adore you so very much that I am hoping that you jump off over the fence in that bridge. Now listen, the bank money you keep throwing at my face all the time is the same money that helped your penniless ass back then. Oh yes! <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Way back, darling. Not anymore. Right now, I am in charge. Oh, really? You hear me? You sit down in my house acting all stupid like some snobbish princess who makes all of that happen. Me, who ensures that you have more than enough to live on and waste away your frivolities. Me, who pays the mortgage on this house without faltering. Me, who ensures that every other year you have a brand new car to yourself. Richard Katong. Me. Me, me, me. You can go and masturbate in the bathroom for all I care. And how did you know that I would find out more pleasurable than I'm having your tippet skin rubbing on my flesh? Bitch. Look at him. We are going to Europe. You can go now, now, Abby. Europe. <laughs> the mat. I can't even put up my pick. What my pick is just the crit. Be able. Put preferred. Good day, gentlemen. Hello, good day, officer. How may we help you? Um, I want to believe you are aware of what's been going on in the estate. We don't know anything. We are not aware of anything. What is going on, actually? The trend of missing cars and car parts. I'm not aware. Missing cars and car parts in this estate. Wow, it's new to me, officer. Oh, okay. I would like to please um, request for your cooperation whenever you're called upon during the course of investigation. We do. How can they reason them? What no be say when I don't do meeting things in our house? They suspect us. No, 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 not at all. It's just normal security procedures. That's all. Good day, gentlemen. Hello, is 
Hello. Hello. Let it let it go. And the fellas go. Let it let it go. And the fellas go. Yeah. She say she want it. She know I got it. And I'ma give it to her any day she like it. Let's go on the beat. And I know she like it. Say on the beat. And I know she wants it. <laughs> I'm a whore. <laughs> wow. <sighs> Wait, was that your husband that you were riding with yesterday? Listen, every whore has a price. So name your price, bitch. What do you think I want?
say. They've turned their house into what we suspected all along. A damn brothel. <laughs> so, um, did you see the face of a customer? Nah. He had a hood on. Hmm. Hmm. I will give anything to get those prostitutes in trouble. <laughs> what are you thinking? I hope you're not thinking of storming the apartments because that will be trespass. And you know the penalty the estate management attached to that. Calm yourself down. I am not stupid. Please. Don't worry. What I'm about to do, even the estate management will say thank you. Yeah, it lessened the years that it's over. I know the insurance will poor people. Because they ask me, you poor now, you know poor. See, they live for this man fish you. This man fish you is the safe, not the room and parlor. I want small room, nine day. Everything for a room, no passes key. What do you want me to insure for there? Guys, I thought of you got good. I beg, I beg, I know they this mood, I beg. The guy just entered, the punk guy just entered in the ladies' apartment. One of them is at home. They've all gone to work. Eh? It's not my business here. Yeah. Bro, you got to wake up. Do you realize once we catch this punk guy? Bring this lady's to work. I think I understand what you're trying to say. This is what you're gonna do. Love you. Yes! Okay, this is what I'm going to do. Conjure. Tell her about the situation. I think she can handle it. You, you don't still get it. This is no journalist business. This is our show. Once we catch the burglar, the ladies might even invite us for dinner. Let's go! <laughs> Good idea, bad time. Okay, I'm way out. Bobby, do you trust me? Yes! You sure say you trust me? Eh? Just a big guy who I like you away. I like you away, and I need to carry you along. Okay. If you get caught last, watch it on last. That's a girl. Yes. <laughs> oh. I have to go on one. Oh, I don't want to see you. It's all right, darling. Mm. Mm. All right, then. Take care. Bye. when you get home. Definitely. Bye. Service provider. <laughs> Tell me this is a bad joke. I mean, a really good bad joke. Uh, where did you change your clothes? Uh -uh. What are you talking about now? See, son, he or whatever you call yourself. I've actually been holding back not to show you my Jack Bauer skill. I wish I can take you to the ground, brush your mouth on the road, hit you hard, and bite your left ear. Now, Answer me this question. Were you, Sean He, 
Not at the ladies' apartment yesterday after they've gone to work. Look me in the eyes and tell me. Because I, Bobby, saw you in the ladies' apartment wearing a sweater shirt and a long pants. Ah, ah, your mouth. Ah, ah. Why would I want to do that now? It is a lie. Mm. Don't, don't believe him, no. Yes. Yes. He, he has been hiring all these ladies since. Mm. Ah, ah, okay, don't worry. I know what to do in order to make him to confess. He will confess. Yes. Yes. Ah, yes. Oga P, what, what in your illness this morning now? What did I do you? I'm actually happy that you were at the ladies' apartment, but you didn't go close to the ladies' underwear. Because that is my own constituency. Don't try me. Uh, uh, leave him. Uh, look. Uh, uh, okay. Eh? Eh, SSM provider. See, I have a good year. Now, take one to swear that you are innocent. Take he one to swear. He can't. I'm not going to get your time. Mm. Parliament, here they go. Now you. <laughs> Man, awesome. My brother. What can I say? What can I say? I was told they are the team MVP for the week. <laughs> John, John, John. Listen. My name is Ari. And I am a player. Understand? So, bro, bow down to a player that is greater than you. <laughs> Wait a minute. How did you achieve this? I mean, how were you able to sell out the policies to the resident of the estate you're still in? <laughs> John, John, John. Bro, what can I say? Listen, bro. I'm a marketer by excellence. Bro, I'm good. Very good. You don't understand. My brother. Well done, bro. Thanks, bro. That's a good job. Yeah, well, hi, man. Bro, hey. I, I mean, how that matter take in the friend? It does. The lady is visitor. Gosh. Please, Matilda. Whenever you're speaking with me, stop shortening people's name. I consider you very lousy and ras. Moreover, poor people, wretched people, does that. Okay, just hold it right there, okay? Whatever it is that is eating you up, do not pass it on to me, okay? Anyways, like I was saying before you rudely interrupted me, I said, Victoria said she told you about the mystery guy who's fond of visiting the lady's brother down the street. And guess what? I saw him too. <laughs> is that why you're here? What do you mean, is that why I'm here? No, like seriously, you came to tell me this. Congratulations. So now that you're here, at least they're going to give you trophy for that. Hmm? You have turned to Messi. What best? Listen to me, darling. 
I've got better and serious thing bugging my mind. I don't have time for this. Leave. Matilda, please leave. Let's go, please. But seriously, you came to tell me they saw someone. Go, 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 please, please. I want to go to go, please. Oh, Meet my me nurse. outside. Some stuff at home, so I came to pick them up. How was it okay to let that happen? Well, have you ever this stuff with your name? Okay, I understand. I'm on my way out. Why don't you hop in the car? I don't mind dropping you off at your office. Um, no, um, Cynthia, I, I need to take some rest before returning back to the office. Stephanie, I never thought I would live and hear you complain about work. When you were the one always going over the top doing workaholic schedule. It happens sometimes. Well, I understand. Why don't you call in tired, sick, exhausted, whatever. Just take the entire day off and enjoy your lazy shift. Yeah, I think I will do just that. Okay. Okay. See you. Okay. See you when I get back, okay? Thank you. Thank you too. Yeah. My boss would like to see you now. You've got to think about it, Bodilicious. You've got to just think about it. It's five million. Five million tax-free Naira. Or better still, in any other denomination of your choice. All yours, baby. In exchange for one night in my bedroom, where I get a chance to walk on that very beautiful body of yours, and I assure you, you will enjoy every bit of it. I'll tell you what. I promise you, it will be a little secret. And I will ensure that it doesn't get out in the open, but just in case it does, be rest assured that it didn't slip through these very beautiful lips of mine. Hmm? So tell me, Cupcake, what do you say? Mr. Richard, my boss is waiting for you. Five million. Uh -huh. hmm? Hmm? Think about it. <laughs> No, just that she comes and that's it. That's just my dad. Uh, of course. Oh, <laughs> that's my Hello, girl. Seriously. Hey. Hey, Cynthia. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Nothing much. Okay, girls. Whose turn is it to do the dishes today? Um. Ah. Princess Stephanie, please get to it. We wouldn't want cockroaches. <sighs> Take up resident in our kitchen. Girls, do we? Yeah. Okay, okay, please. please. Stand up, please. Can I do it in the morning? Look, I'm very tired. Trust me. Ah, you're oh. always tired. I bet kitchen duty calls. Hop to it. Uh -uh. Do not even look at me. I'm too tired. Sorry, dear. <laughs> the way you complain about tiredness. If I didn't know you any better, 
I'd say there's some guy out there sapping your energy. <laughs> <laughs> this one, Stephanie is a non-wearing habit nun. Well, that's true. And, uh, you know, I actually do not blame her. When I came into the city the very first time, I gave my heart, my all to one guy. Guess what I got in return? What? A close shave with jail. What? Why are you all staring at me like you haven't heard it before? No, we haven't. Oh, I guess I was too bitter to talk about it. And who was the criminal? A charmer and a gifted fraudster who used my credit platform to siphon not only my money, but the companies as well. Oh my God, what a creep. Oh, it was such a grave mistake. Trust me. I think that's why I really do not want to have anything to do with any other man. Hey, uh, well, I simply believe in love, the power of love, and very soon, I will have a fairy tale wedding in this town. Yeah. Huh? Oh yeah. <laughs> what a dreamer. Someone <laughs> sounds as if she has a serious boyfriend. Uh -huh. You two talk. Well, I do have a serious boyfriend. And very soon you all will meet him, okay? I promise. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so how about you, Miss Mary Rose? Who? Any me? guy hanging out there? Me? There's no me? fellow? Uh -uh. Hey, come on. There should be someone. There must be someone. No. Come out it. Out it is. Hey, talk to me. There's someone. Okay, come out with me before I say it. Say what? It. Oh, Mary Rose, the other day I saw the guy parked across the lawn. <laughs> no, don't listen to anything this one tells you. They shouldn't listen. I'm saying the truth. You're a liar. Yeah. I'm not a liar. Look, I saw the guy. And you, Mary Rose, told the guy to zoom out before I could give him the up and down look. Oh, <laughs> my. That driver was. Good driver, come on, stop it. Okay, fine. Enough of the argument. We will fill in the empty spaces with our own hands. Yeah, baby, like sure. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but seriously, <laughs> girls, there's this daring idiot. He wouldn't leave me alone. The other day, he offered me an indecent proposal. Ooh. And what was the proposal? Five million naira for one hour with him. And what was your reply? I told him he can offer his mother the same amount. God bless you. Thank you. You did the right thing. You too. Hi, Claudia. Now, five million naira for one hour. One hour. Babe, check them now. Hmm? Did you know the court follow body? Oh. Mary Rose, my person, please listen to my advice. Why not give the fool what he wants and pocket your 5M? Chances are he's pot bellied, suffering from short breath, arthritis. Diabetes and so on and so forth. He, trust me, he won't even last up to five minutes. I don't believe those words actually came from you. Mm -hmm. You have to believe it. Mary Rose, please ignore her. Ah, uh -huh, girls, so yeah. like I was saying, we're talking about the guy who broke my heart, yes. right? I could have sworn I saw him the other day at the mall. Ah, Ooh. heaven knows that any day I come face to face with that guy. He will be on the floor, bleeding to death, dying slowly. And I will gladly, with a big smile on my face, walk to jail. That's so tough. <laughs> oh, okay, 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 okay. Okay, guys. Whose turn is to do the dishes again? Whose turn, please? Oh, come on, it's Mary Rose. Ah, Cynthia. Get out of here. Go wash the plate. Hey, it's your turn. You think we've forgotten? Oof. Okay, fine. Uh -uh. Get to it, please. I'll go only on one condition. What? No more gesting. 
mm-hmm. till I get back. Gossip. Okay? <laughs> she gossip. Oh, please. Go, 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 go. Let <laughs> me walk, press. Please. <laughs> no talking. <laughs> so, how do you... Oh, please, Steve. Must you smoke that thing? <sighs> Baby, if you don't like my dog, don't like me. Where did that come from? Look, it's not like I'm complaining, okay? I just don't want to get home and my husband will perceive that thing you're smoking on me. I don't want it, please. I don't know. We just had a great time, okay? Please, don't spoil it, please. You had a great time. I didn't. What do you mean? I mean, you just said I... Okay. I know what you want. You want more of me, don't you? Of course you know I do. But not here. Yes. At your place. No, no, no. no. That's never gonna happen. Ever. What do you mean? Oh, I see. You mean I'm not good to, to sleep on your husband's side of the bed? Is that what you're trying to say? That's not Come on. You want more of me, don't you? Of course, you mean I do. Mm. Okay. Here's what I'll do. All right? Just hang on a second. <laughs> there you go. Come on, take it. This is three times what I usually drop for you. Just pour yourself a little, you know? 